we're heading into the Old Mill District. We're gonna have lunch at the Pottery House. Dawn, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. this. Pigeon Forge Ironworks, how Pigeon Forge got its name. There was a forge not too far from here. I believe it's actually over near Patriot Park, which is directly behind us. And this is where, well, passenger pigeons would gather. And the pigeons are still here. They're, and we have plenty of videos in our library where the pigeons okay. and Dawn hang out. And yes, yeah, so we're here in Pigeon Forge where it all started, right here. Right here at Patriot Park, right here at the Old Mill Restaurant. And if you're here, stop, take a look. They have these little placards all over talking about the history of the area. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore this little area here, the Old Mill District is what they call this. We're gonna take a look at some of the shops. We're gonna have lunch at the Pottery House of course, there is a lot of great eats here. You also have the old mill, which is uh, right over, right over there. We're actually standing right at this tree because it is extremely hot today. It's the shade feels good. A heat index of mm -hmm. over a hundred. <laughs> of course, it's early in the morning, but as yeah. the day goes on, it's going to get crazy. Well, anyways, let's go ahead. Let's explore. Let's walk around. So we have been to the old mill restaurant many of times. We have plenty of restaurant reviews and walkthroughs of this amazing restaurant. It is a staple for all the visitors that come to the area to try. It's one of the most popular restaurants. It's arguable that it might even be the number one or number two in the area for good old country cooking. And it is the staple in this little area here, the the old mill district. That heat is on, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, it's... <laughs> you can definitely tell the Jeeps are in town. There's a great big rubber duck on the roof over there. I wonder what he's doing up there. I don't know, but Jeepers will do crazy things. Yeah, he's a cool duck, isn't he? Yeah. Yes, I absolutely love the old mill. And over here they have some some photos of what it looked like back in the day. Huh. Here's, here's an old photo here. It shows the mill there, and that's where the restaurant now sits. Yeah, it was all farms in the area before tourism has, has made its way. And then that was the bridge that was well, well, we'll take you over there, but it used to be an old uh, steel bridge. And those guys, they climbed all the way up there on top. Yeah, used to be a wooden bridge at that, you can tell there, riding their horses. And it progressed as it went along. There was houses and tourism started to, to start. The Great Smoky Mountains, National Park had opened. They expanded the the parkway, and uh, yeah. and then this is pretty much what the the mill looks like uh, these days. Yeah, they're celebrating all American summer. Yeah, since 1830, and yet all the jeeps are in town for a jeep invasion, and this is the focal point the old mill itself yeah, been here for an extremely long time one of the oldest buildings in Pigeon Forge and it has a lot of a lot of history here of course it's still a working mill and during the Civil War they made garments for the Union in this building so a little Civil War history also it's also a gift shop and you can get that that ground up goodness 
just over there. In fact, they're making it as we speak. Oh, and there's one of the old millstones they probably used at one time here. I guess they do wear out. Yeah, they're packaging it right now. They just got done milling up some. Now this is used in their restaurants and you can buy it to take home. All made right here in Pigeon Forge. And one of the things here at the mill is their beautiful gardens all surrounding this area here. Great photo opportunities. And yet again, they're celebrating that all-American summer at the old mill. And they got some Jeep Invasion t-shirts, old mill style. Wow, that is that is really cool. Yeah, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is that is really cool. Yeah, they got some other ones. Oh, they got one over here in gray with a blue Jeep. Yeah, yeah they got some specialty shirts. Well, let's head on in and see what's going on. And they do sell paper straws here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look at pens. Oh, well, they do. Look at the dark. Well, they do. It's upside down. Yeah. This is the clearance area. And they have everything in here. This is one of my favorite shops in Pigeon Forge. Yeah, they have all kinds of different butters and jellies. Yeah, they even have some bourbon peach. Uh, they also have local honey from the area. Yeah, so they have chicken tortilla soup starters here. This looks really good, Don. Chicken tortilla. All you got to do is just add some, maybe some water, milk. I'm not sure exactly. And then... Voila, you have you have some soup. And they always have unique, unique gifts in here. Unique decor. And what is this? It's like a, a flower dress or it's an apron. It's a it's a cooking. What is this? I don't know. That is very interesting. Gyps, jaded gypsy. $104.99. Yeah. $104. I guess, right? It's cool though, isn't it? Yeah, I I've, really do it so. I've never seen that before. And over here is, well, what folks come here for and what they're known for. Their, their ground goodness yellow cornmeal. They have a self-rising white cornmeal. And um, they average, was there, $6.99 for a two pound bag or five pound bag for $15. Yeah, white grits. So they ground up all types of goodness, right? Right on the other side of that, that door there. This is a one of a kind, amazing store here in Pigeon Forge. I highly recommend everybody to stop here. You will find something for a gift, guaranteed. Yeah, there's the mill itself. Yeah, they're grounding it up right now as we speak. Employees only. And then up there is the founders of the mill. They have the pecan pie mix, cream cheese pound cake mix, their famous jalapeno corn pudding, funnel cake. You can even make funnel cakes. Snickerdoodles. Ooh, I love snickerdoodles. And banana nut. So we have peach cobbler, cherry cobbler, apple, and blackberry. They have classic buckwheat pancake mix. That is good. Those are, if you've never had it before, I highly recommend it. They even got blueberry pancake mix. I've never seen that before. Blueberry? Yeah, we got apple cinnamon. Yeah. Pecan praline. You might like that. Yeah. And they also have syrup to match. Yes. They have the tomato, yeah. tomato breading. Hmm. Bro even fried okra breading. Also, fried chicken. So they have every every single. Oh, there's their hush puppy mixed on. They always have unique unique things in here. Just really cool. Somebody ate the 
Yeah, somebody did eat that corn, didn't they? Uh, you know, they always have different types of soaps, uh, different types of like hand cream, lip balm. Um, they also have like bath bombs and yeah, just a little bit of everything in here. They have goat milk lotion. Yeah, they got something here for dog lovers. They even have a a peppy palm. <laughs> oh, they have a palm tato chips. <laughs> That's cool. Oh my goodness, they have a old mill puzzle, 18 by 24. Yeah. What do you think of that? That's neat. It is. How much they want for that? I'll say. Oh, 16 they want 16.99 for it oh, the happy camper kitchen set oh, is that a sleeping bag with <laughs> bigfoot on it yeah oh, a lot of camping gear can't oh wow hot cocoa a wilderness camp oh, they have a lot of really interesting books here some of these i have already and these are really good books here, history hikes. If you're planning to spend a little time in the Smoky Mountains. Uh, wildflowers, I've got this one too. That's helped out quite a bit. Identifying the uh, different flowers in the Great Smoky Mountains. Oh wow, I've never seen this one before. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. But a lot of reading in here. Yeah, and they always have really cool uh, t-shirts in here. Pretty big selection. And some t-shirts I have never seen anywhere else. I love some of these hats they have. I see a unique one there in purple. They even have old mill ones. They do have a slew of Tennessee gifts here. And this is one of my favorite I saw last time. It's the state of Tennessee as a little plushie. He's got his heart over here. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, they got some really cool, unique Dolly merchandise here. And I like this here. I wouldn't mind getting that for the studio. What, what? This is really cool. It's a Tennessee state puzzle. It's magnetic pieces and it's a hundred. What, oh, 100 pieces? Yeah, it's 100 pieces. And it's magnetic. And it's magnetic. You can oh, put wow. it in the refrigerator or your RV. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun to, to mm -hmm. put a magnet piece up every single time we visit a, an area in Tennessee, yeah. too. That'd be fun. You, you want that? Yeah. Oh, I guess we got a gift for Dawn, right? I can. Well, you do collect m magnetic puzzles. Magnetic puzzles. Dawn's got this little collection of magnetic puzzles. You do. And you can always feed the ducks for a dollar. Little bags to go. And I always love the old floors in here. I always say if these floors could talk, it would be amazing, the stories they would tell. You know, they have farmhouse pickles, spicy garlic, black eye pea relish. Oh, lots of different cannings here. At quail eggs, yeah. Yeah, creamy vegetable soup mix, broccoli cheddar soup mix. Check out this apron. That's a lot of fun, also. And yet again, it is so beautiful here with all the flowers. A lot of great photos can be had here. And I noticed they just freshened these ones up just recently. So we're gonna head into the Pottery House 
for lunch. And this is one of our favorite places to eat here in Pigeon Forge. Yeah, they're open from 11 to 4 and then until 9 o'clock for dinner. And I love that, that door. And just like the old mill across the street, they are known for their desserts. Strawberry cake. Ooh, that carrot cake looks really good. And yeah, they have a cho their chocolate cake I've had before. And they make their own bread right here. They got a whole team dedicated just to making the bread. And we got some more cakes over here. We got a peanut butter pie, hot chocolate pie. I think Dawn's had that hot chocolate, key lime. And here are the prices of their bread. They have the sourdough, six fifty. dollars They have the honey wheat for $6.99. And you can pick it up right here and take it home with you. I'll do this a lot during the holidays. I'll come here and just get the bread for, for dinner, holiday dinner. We come here quite a bit and their food has always been good. We have never had a bad experience ever. Um, and they have a little bit of everything here. And if you're trying to eat a little more healthy, they do have healthier options here. And that's the reason why we're here today is because we find it a little bit healthier to eat here than I'm gonna have the lunch chicken breast. You can find these guys at the old mill and the pottery house and they make them right next door so you can take a pair home that's made right here in Pigeon Forge. Of course I got some water and yeah, this is where we're sitting back here. Yeah, we've sat here before and uh, they have an outside seating also. The service is always good here. We had to wait about five minutes to sit down. It could be longer because of course this is probably one of the most popular restaurants in Pigeon Forge. Uh, the waitress has been great. She took our, our orders immediately um, and she said if we needed anything to let her know and she'll be right on it. So that's really cool and she has been on it. And uh, I just love the decor. There's a little maple leaf up there I just noticed. So you ordered like a triple grilled cheese, right? Yeah. And some chili. Yeah. That's probably not the healthier option. Eh, but it's, it's at lunch, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's going to be okay. I think I have pretty much the rest of the day to that off, and it's only like 12, 24 now. So if you guys don't know, we've been watching what we're eating, and so we're trying to pick better options when we're out and about now. And so, yeah, it's kind of a, you know, uh, trying to get out of that old routine of just eating whatever, right? And um, so, Dawn, you got the grilled cheese and um, and chili. I don't usually get the grilled cheese ever. No. Something different. Yeah, something different. I have different. other options than before in the past. I just want to try something different in here. And so I ordered their lunch chicken breast with broccoli. And I have teriyaki sauce on the side. So yeah, she bought the Tennessee puzzle at the old mill gift store, right? At the old mill itself, yeah. That's really cool. Now you you collect magnet puzzles, yeah. So it was a $14.98. Yeah, fourteen dollars, yeah. And it's hundred pieces. Oh wow. hundred pieces. So you'll be able to do something on your refrigerator while you you wait in between you know, cooking, right? Yeah. Or, or whatever, right? So, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. What? So, you got um, B Farm Peppermint. Huh. It was kind of pricey, but I think it's 
Yeah. Ten dollars. But you know you're you're helping a real family out there. You know that's not mass produced. You know what I'm saying? It's it's homemade, so it's worth it. Lunch is here. So that's my grilled chicken breast on a bed of rice with some teriyaki dipping sauce. Some really steaming, steamy broccoli. And then that's your triple cheese grilled cheese, right? On sourdough bread. On sourdough. And I Got some chili. Got the and chili. Me a pickle and some chips to go with it. Pickle and chips. And oh my gosh, guys, this is really good. Look at the chili. Uh, everything is piping hot. It's steaming. And uh, wow, the chips look good. I want a bite of your of your grilled cheese, and I'll give you, but I'll give you some of my chicken. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Look at the cheese in there, yeah. So it's good. Is it buttery? It's really buttery too. Buttery. And they had the bread is made right here. Also, I think they had um, tomato soup, but you went for the chili, which is a good choice, I think. Oh wow, yeah. How's that chili? It's really good. Is it? Is it sweet? Is it hot? It is has it... more of a sweet flavor. So it's a sweet chili. I've been craving chili too. So, I got some. <laughs> so you got the chili. Kind of looked dope. It looks really um, like hearty. You know what I mean? It's got the tomato in there, and it's good. Oh yeah, good, good, good. Got kidney beans. Yeah. Look at the cheese. It's just oozing out of of the bread there. It's. Uh... It's a triple, triple grilled cheese. Dawn gave me a little bit of her grilled cheese. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. So their homemade bread really sets off the grilled cheese. And uh, the chili is just steaming over there. And it, it just looks good. It looks really good. I'm gonna try the homemade chips. Hang on. So I'm gonna try the homemade chips again. So uh, everything. What do you think? You gave a kind of look. <laughs> You're salty. Very salty. I think your kettle cook, but I'm not sure. Now, I think it would taste better barbecue. A lot of things are homemade here, so I'm wondering if the chips are are some more of the same. You know. And there is my chicken breast. Looks really good with that bed of rice under it. And the broccoli. Might be even garlic uh, seasoned because I think there's a little bit of garlic in there. And of course the, the teriyaki there. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. This is really good. I want to see what this is all about. Oh, wow. So it looks real tender. And um, when I cut into it, very, very, very juicy. It looks good. It does look good. Mm. Wow. Yeah, so it's juicy throughout. Um, you can taste like the, the char from the grill, so it's kind of like a char grill. And um, of course, the bed, of, the bed of rice here. The bed of rice. Oh wow, very good, very well to season. Um, almost like a wine, like a wine taste, like a wine seasoning. And, um, I was gonna get in this broccoli. Yeah, I want to try the broccoli. Out. Bet you it's nice and steamed. It's hot. Whatever. Mm. Very buttery, not garlicky at all, but very buttery. But what I like to do with my broccoli is dip it a little bit into the teriyaki. So the, the teriyaki is really thick. It does Super look thick. thick. Yes. Oh, this looks like a barbecue sauce. Teriyaki is really good. <laughs> wow, it's amazing.
So it's always amazing. What did you think? I enjoyed my lunch. I I know I went over, but I, I love their sourdough bread and it's homemade. And I've been wanting chili, so I, I got that too. <laughs> now I did a weigh in and since August the 1st, I've lost 18 pounds. I don't know if I, I don't think you could tell just yet. Lost 18 pounds so far. So we've been eating better, been watching our calories. That's pretty much it. Calorie counting is what we've been doing. And doing a lot more exercise, activity. And so yeah, we're trying to get better. And of course, the Pottery House, most of their, their menu does fit the bill for healthier eating. Okay, so. <laughs> no, you did good. You're still underneath your. I wanted them. You're just gonna have a little bit more less of a dinner, is yeah. pretty much. We pretty much just be our main meal for the day. I'll tell you what, I'll give you some of my calories. I had them enough, <laughs> you take some of mine. I, I did lose some weight too. So. Well, no, I'll give you some of my calories that you could use. Oh, okay. <laughs> that ain't gonna work, is it? No, I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's how it works, right? Mm -hmm. no. Now we're gonna go check out some of the other stores here in the old Mill Plaza. Yeah, let's go do that. They turned part of the parking lot into uh, like a, a green area, an astro turf, and they got some games for the kids to play. And of course, a nice little seating area here. We've had ice cream at the creamery many of times. Very good. Yeah, so you got sassafras in the corner. It's unique jewelry and accessories. And we're gonna head to one of my favorite stores, the Pigeon River Pottery. Yeah, they got a lot of really nice gifts in here. One of a kind, made right here. Yeah. And definitely screams the Smoky Mountains. You can't get these anywhere else. I absolutely love these vases here. Yeah, there's one of the, the old mill itself. Very, very nice. Oh, it's got a little handkerchief here. And look at this light here. It's of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Yeah. Are they cute? And they even have handmade magnets. And here is my favorite spot in the whole place. And these little bowls and got faces. And I have a moonshine jug made by the same creator that has the same type of face on them, aren't they? They're really, well, this one here is really scary looking. He is so scary. But look at this guy here. Look at their teeth. I don't know how much yeah. they are. Yeah, these are really cool. 125 bucks. 125. Now, I think the moonshine jug you got me was like 150, but that was years ago. And look at this moonshine jug. Oh, wow. That's, here's like a cookie jar, Don. Yeah. These guys are scary. Yeah, that one's for on Halloween with a pumpkin. You put like a candle in it, maybe it lights up. Oh, yeah. That one's neat. Oh, they do have actual pumpkins. Yeah, so they got, they got a little bit of Halloween out, right? One of a kind gifts, no matter where you turn. Yeah. It's a very, very nice stop. Now, these are cool also. You see that? Little owl mugs. Um, these ones here are classic. These these hillbilly um, little little like pots here, like little jars. I think. Now these ones here, I don't know if they're little jars, but they they make them in all different types of things. Like um, those there are just like little figurines. Anyways, I got some toads there. They've been making these for a long time. I remember seeing these when I was a kid back in the early '80s, coming to the Great Smoky Mountains. These guys are, are cute too. Little monsters. And some bears. The black bear sculpture. And here's those little hillbillies there. And it's in a great big jug. <laughs> and yet again, these guys, they've been making them since before the 1980s. This is where they make it. I noticed they have some Halloween being made at the moment. 
Sim. And these are great placements for anybody's home. And you take a little bit of the Smoky Mountains back with you. A lot of these designs are just unique uh, to here. You can't get them anywhere else. But um, yeah, it's a really, really cool place. And there's those salt and pepper shakers that you see at the, the restaurant. And they are $50. I don't know if that's for a pair or if that's a piece. I think they're for a pair, so it's $50 a pair. That's a garlic grater, I thought it was a soap dish. I thought it was an ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> it's for garlic. I no, but it's, yeah, it's for garlic, I think, yeah. Not sure how that's gonna work. Well, you put anything in it, really. Yeah. You put like, um, you know, your, your soap. anything, yeah. Yeah, these are really cool here for like little casseroles or something, you know, put it on the table. We're gonna head into the Old Mill Candy Kitchen is a must stop while you're visiting. Now open until eight, nine on the weekends. Nostalgic candy from different eras, 1950s, you know, the 70s, the 60s, the 80s, and the 90s. And there's nothing like an old peppermint stick from the, the Old Mill Candy Kitchen. And they make it right here of course, they have a wrapping machine over there. And the smell of taffy and, and fudge is in the air. Caramel apples, peanut brittle. They got chocolate, banana, strawberry, green apple, orange cream, grape, lemon, raspberry. And look at the size of the licorice. Wow, different flavors. Blueberry. Old Mill Salt Water Taffy. And right next to the candy kitchen is the farmhouse kitchen. Yeah, so they have a lot of baked goods here. You can get cookies. They also have some pimento cheese. They have a little bakery right here. So you can pick up a lot of those favorites. Yeah, they have Christmas pickles <laughs> and peaches. Oh, they even have different types of um, dip mixes. All you gotta do is get yourself a tub of sour cream on a lot of these and you just you just mix it in. Some of the stuff you can get at the old mill itself or you can get it here, but they both have different items that the other one doesn't. This mustard sounds real good, the jalapeno mustard. And you can get a lot of that ground goodness over here also. Shrimp and grits. I have different types of vinegar here. Peach, garlic. I like these. Uh, all those clips. Yeah, they're wooden clips. I guess they're chip clips. They're cuter if they're magnets, but they're not magnets. Um, yeah, they got different types of seasoning here. They got the, du the doubles backbone. <laughs> okay, and they have bacon blast. Yeah, so we walked through the old mill shops. Now we're gonna head across the street. They have a, a place over there where you can make your own knife. We'll walk by there, we're not gonna do that today. And then they have, the, they have, a, they have a distillery over there. They make moonshine, the Old Forge Distillery. We'll take a look at that. There's usually plenty of parking at Patriot Park, not always. And you can also catch the trolley and it'll take you anywhere in Pigeon Forge and you can get a transfer onto the Gatlinburg trolley system. So you can pretty much get to anywhere from here. And so you can make your own knife here. Iron Mountain Metalcraft. Yeah, so they have the finishing touch, handbags, accessories, 
and monograms I have Lay in J Leather. Oh. Yeah, we're not gonna go in all these shops that take forever, but yeah, they have a jewelry store, they have a Pigeon Forge Soap Company, and then at the end is Sandman's Workshop. Of course, they have these really unique rock men here. This one of of Superman. <laughs> Yeah, so they'll carve your name into a stone. The stone carving here. Last but not least, we're gonna head into the Old Forge Distillery. Distillery. Yeah, so they got lots of different hats and collectibles in here. Wearables. Instead of making your own knife, you can buy one here. Yeah, they have these little sippy cups is what I call them. They got the Pigeon Forge Distillery Moonshine Cherries. Yeah. They even have Tennessee Game Day Cherries. They're, they're orange. <laughs> now they make the moonshine right here. The Old Forge Distillery. And it's busy in here. There's a lot of folks test tasting just over there. But, yeah, so I got pineapple, blackberry, peach. I got cinnamon. And armorello. Ooh, they even have cola. <laughs> and caramel, apple pie. They even have pumpkin roll up there. Yeah, you have elderflower and French toast. So they have all different types of flavors, lemon, everything you can imagine, vanilla bean, and wild cherry, and even have oatmeal cookie, Don. Oatmeal cookie. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of different t-shirts. And they even have a little uh, jacket for your moonshine. Yeah, you just put it in there and I guess drink right out of the jar. They have a little seating area where you can enjoy a cocktail. And it is busy in there. There's a lot of folks in there. But they have that in case, you know, you're looking for a place to sit down and maybe have a drink. And there's Popcorn Sutton. He was here at the Old Mill on Heritage Day showing folks how he makes his famous shine. Yeah, even Popcorn Sutton walked around here they're even welcoming the jeepers to the area and they do have a special t-shirt hmm that's gonna do it for today here in pigeon forge if you guys like this vlog give it a thumbs up and if you haven't please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming smoky mountain adventures we love you all and we'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone